Okay, so let's now have a closer look at these building blocks or components of a federated learning network. Uh, so as I have already uh, pointed out in, in this graph or in this picture of a federated learning network, it consists of nodes. So we have a finite number of nodes that we, uh, for convenience, identify with the first n natural numbers. So within this course, when we talk about nodes of a federated learning network, we always mean the first n natural numbers. This is not a, a, a severe restriction um, to use the first natural numbers. But uh, what is a restriction is that we consider this n given. So we assume a finite number of nodes. But this number can be arbitrarily large. So uh, infinite. there are also infinite graphs where the, the node set would be, for example, uh, the uh, uh, integer numbers. There are infinitely many integer numbers. Or all natural numbers. Uh, this we do not cope, uh, uh, cover in this course. <clears throat> so within this course, we only consider federated learning networks that consists of arbitrarily but finite many nodes. So each node represents a device, uh, and the device, in our federated learning perspective, can train a model or is able to train a local model. So each device carries a local model, and this local model could be different at different nodes. So one node might carry a a linear model, so the local model at node 1, for example, might be a linear model, and the local model at node 10 might be a decision tree. So we will see how we can develop federated learning algorithms that train arbitrary collections of local models. Uh, in order to train a model, like in basic machine learning, we need some way to, to measure the usefulness of model parameters or of a hypothesis. Uh, out of this model. And for this, we need a, a local loss function. So each node also carries a local loss function. So beside this uh, node attributes, so we can think of this local model and the local loss function as node attributes, we have undirected edges. So uh, a federated learning network consists also of an undirected graph. Uh, so some of these nodes, some of these devices are connected by an undirected edge. And uh, each edge is uh, assigned a weight, an edge weight that measures how strong the link is between uh, these two devices. And we will see there are different interpretations of these edge weights. But for now, it's just a part of a mathematical model, period. Yeah, and it's, it's convenient uh, throughout the course to collect the nodes, these edges and the edge weights into an undirected weighted graph. So this is basically a, a, short, uh, a shorthand for the nodes, edges, and edge weights. We use the shorthand calligraphic J. Okay, so now, uh, as I mentioned, the nodes of a federated learning network represent devices. So each node, let's say node one, uh, represents or stands for or denotes a, a real world physical device. This could be a smartphone or could be a supercomputer or could be a, a smart light bulb. And uh, we will be a bit sloppy with, with language throughout this course and, and interchangeably speak about a device I when we mean the node I. And we, we use node I when we actually mean the device that is represented by node I. But strictly speaking, these are different things. So then a node within a federated learning network is uh, a natural number between 1 and n. Uh, but we use, this, we use this number as a mathematical model for a physical device. So this is the device i that is represented by node i. So I hope you, you will be able to, to uh, get their intended meaning depending on, on the context. OK. so. Now that each node represents a device, we, we are not really interested in technical detail about a device. We are not interested what operating system are they running, which Android version, or what, what hardware configuration does a device have, how many megabytes RAM uh, or working memory, main memory does a device have. So this is now where we abstract. And the essence of a device is uh, within this course that it can train a model. So each device is, is assigned or, or carries a, a model, a machine learning model in the form of a hypothesis space. 
So uh, here one, one device that is uh, represented by node i carries a linear model. So this linear model is the set of all linear maps. This is assigned to node i. Another node i prime might carry a different model, like decision tree model. This is the set of piecewise constant functions where these pieces are defined by the, by the decision nodes in a decision tree. And uh, you will also implement this. I mean, these are mathematical abstract concepts, but we will also see how to bring them to life, how to implement them. For example, in Python, you can implement this linear model uh, or work with a linear model uh, using this linear regression class. And uh, similar, you can use a decision tree class to, to represent and to work with a decision tree model. And you will implement those different models in the assignments actually during the course. Okay, beside the local models, we also have a local loss function at each node. We need a local loss function to choose or to train a model. Uh, training a model means to learn a useful hypothesis out of a model. So for a linear model, training a linear model means uh, to find or to learn the most useful linear map. Is it this green uh, linear curve? Is it this blue linear curve? Or is it this red linear curve? So this decision or this uh, choosing process, this is what we mean by training a model. And it means that, uh, it, essentially it means to, to select a good hypothesis.